Hi everyone, it's Juliet Glamrush Creations. Thanks for joining me again. I wanted to talk about something that I couldn't do without. Here it is. So, it's a thimble. As you can see, I own a few different ones. Um, this one here fits, it's quite rubbery, and it has that sort of texture that you can grip very well with it. And this one here is the old fashioned type, so it's metallic. Again, it's slightly textured, helps you to push your needle through things. But I needed a thimble when I made my mini treasure, treasure quilts and I've never been able to get on with them before. But because I had six mini quilts to do, I thought I'd better get used to it. So my favourite one became this. It's my favourite because you've got the best of both worlds. So it's very comfortable once you get it on your finger, whichever finger you, you use. Um, it's rubberized, so it stays in place on your finger. But then you have this metal bit at the end to help you push your needles through. I had a friend say to me recently, oh, I just can't get on with the thimble, I just can't get on with it, I just don't. And I said, no, I couldn't. But when you do a lot of hand sewing, especially something like English paper piecing, you are gonna wreck the end of your finger. And I have actually done that because I insisted on starting those mini quilts without using a thimble. So I would suggest getting one of these. This is a clover one. I think it's a medium. I think you get them in different sizes. This is a medium. There we are, clover. And I think the different sizes come in your different colours down here, I think I'm right in saying. And yeah, it was the best decision. And once you get used to it, you are away. And it really does save the end of your finger from getting very, very sore. So I know there are many more different ones than that. You can get the ones that stick onto the end of your finger, literally like a plaster. Couldn't really get on with that. You might be able to, I didn't really get on with that. You can also get leather ones that, um, yeah, that are leather. Um, but I didn't really get on with that either. I just feel the clover one is the best one that I could get on with because you don't actually notice it's on your finger. It's quite comfortable, quite lightweight, and you've got that metal bit to push the needle through. So do you use a thimble? when you sew. If you have a particular one that I haven't mentioned that you love, or even if I've mentioned, if you've got one of these that I've mentioned already and you like that, please pop that into the comments box because we also always like to hear from everybody um, to share their love of sewing. So I hope you found that helpful and have a good week everybody. Stay safe and see you next week. Bye for now.